Hello. In the previous session, I have already discussed the definition of a matrix, types of matrices and equality of matrices. Now in this session, we are going to discuss different concepts like at matrix addition, scalar multiplication of matrices and their properties. Just like numbers, whether two matrices can be added. If it is possible to add two matrices, of what kind? Whether any two matrices can be added or with some condition. Here, two matrices A and B are given. Now, A plus B is defined like this. The corresponding element A11 plus B11, A12 plus B12, A13 plus B13. Now, this is possible only if order of A is equal to order of B. If A and B are of the same order, then A plus B is defined and A plus B is possible. Now, A plus B also will be of the same order, like A and B. Now, let us go to the next one. Multiplication of a matrix by a scalar. That is the next property. A matrix is given. A matrix is multiplied by another scalar. Here in this example, it is multiplied with 3. Now, when we multiply a matrix with a scalar, what's the respective changes, corresponding changes, you see? Every element of the matrix is multiplied with 3. Each and every element of the matrix is multiplied with 3 in this example. If K is a scalar and A is a matrix of any order, KB here, B is given, KB is equal to matrix 2K, 6K, 7K, 4K, 8K, 2K. Where B is the matrix given like this. Right? Next, uh, negative of a matrix, another concept it is. We know for any real number, there is this a negative of the real number uh, 2, negative 2 is there. Like that for matrix also, how the negative of a matrix is defined? Negative of A is defined as the matrix obtained by multiplying every element of the matrix A with the negative 1. Now, one more thing you can observe in this. A plus negative A will be 0. Where 0 is a 0 matrix of the same order of A. 0 is already, we know 0 is the identity matrix for addition. Next thing, difference of the matrices. Difference of matrices, it is not different from addition actually. Once you know negative of a matrix, Difference of two matrices A difference B or A minus B is A plus negative B. Because you know already that if matrix B is given, negative B can be calculated. Then A plus negative B will be A minus B. Now see, I'm going to the next properties of matrix addition. We know in set of real numbers, there are a lot many properties like commutativity, associativity, existence of identity, existence of inverse and all for operations like addition and multiplication. Now here among the matrices, when the matrix addition is possible, definitely these rules and laws we can observe. First one again is commutativity. We know 2 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 2. That is known as commutative law. Here a plus B is equal to B plus A. Just taking a simple example so you can verify A plus B is equal to B plus A. So matrix addition is commutative. The next property it is associative property. If A, B, C are three matrices of the same order, then A plus B plus C equal to A plus B plus C. What's the difference you see? Here B plus C will be calculated first, the bracket one. Then to B plus C, with the B plus C we will add A. A and B plus C will be added. But in the case of A plus B plus C, first we will add A and B. A plus, will be, A plus B will be calculated. Then with that matrix we will add C. But through example you can observe this also. A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. Now the question, existence of additive identity is there or not in case of matrix addition. We know 3 plus 0 is equal to 3. There is no change for 3 if you add 0. The same thing in case of matrices, only the difference is it is a 0 matrix. 
with the matrix A, if you add a 0 of the same order, that is compulsory, then only addition is possible. So, A plus 0 is equal to 0 plus A is equal to A. Here, 0 is the 0 matrix of the order, same order of A. Now, this 0 is known as U identity. Now, coming to the next, existence of additive inverse. We know, additive inverse of 5 is negative 5. Why? It is 5 plus negative 5 is equal to 0, which is the additive identity. Same thing here, A plus negative A is equal to 0 matrix. That, so, here negative A is the additive inverse of the matrix A. Here 0 is the 0 matrix. So, negative A is the additive inverse of the matrix A. That means additive inverse exists. Additive identity exists and additive inverse also exists for any matrix. Now, matrix 0 is the additive identity and negative A is the additive inverse. These two concepts are very important. Now, I have written some examples of real numbers. A plus 0 equal to 0 plus A. A plus negative A is equal to 0 for every A belongs to R. Now, the next property it is properties of scalar multiplication. If K is a scalar and A and B are two matrices of the same order, then K into A plus B is equal to K A plus K B. Similarly, uh, if A and B are two scalars and A is any matrix, then A plus B into A is equal to A A plus B A. Such a scalar multiplication is possible. Now already we have discussed in this class some of the operations like addition of matrices as well as the scalar multiplication. Now let us see some problems from in using addition as well as scalar multiplication. In Excess 3.2, you see the first problem center, very simple one, directly adding the corresponding elements. Here it is a subtraction as well as a scalar multiplication. Like that if you see all these are very simple one, you see the fourth one, uh, cos square x plus sin square x which is 1, sin square x plus cos square x again 1, sin square x plus cos square x 1, cos square x plus sin square x 1. So it is 1 matrix 1, 1, 1, 1. Now the next one it is complete the indicated products, so that will be in the next class. We will study the multiplication in the next class. Let us see some more problems involving scalar multiplication. Now you see, here simplify cos theta into 1 2 by 2 matrix plus sin theta into another 2 by 2 matrix it is given. This we will solve as well as the 7th one find x and y if x plus y and x minus y. Simple uh, equations are given. That is matrix equations are given. From that we are asked to find out x and y. Let us go directly to question number 6 and then 7. Now we have to simplify this one. First we will multiply cos theta with each element of the matrix. The resulting matrix will be matrix cos theta, cos theta which is cos square theta, cos theta into sin theta, cos theta into negative sin theta, cos theta into cos theta which is cos square theta. Now again multiply sin theta with each matrix. Each element of the matrix sin theta into sin theta sin square theta sin theta into negative negative sin theta cos theta sin theta into cos theta and sin square theta. Now we have to add two matrices. For that we have to add the corresponding elements cos square theta plus sin square theta. Then cos theta sin theta plus negative. First I will write anyway cos theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta. Next, my negative cos theta sin theta plus sin theta cos theta. Next, cos square theta plus sin square theta. Cos square theta plus sin square theta. Now see, this equal to matrix. Cos square theta plus sin square theta, we know just one using the identity. Here it is the negative sin theta cos theta and negative sin theta cos theta which is equal to zero. Here it is again zero. Cos square theta plus sin square theta which is equal to 1. Hence the simplified form. And we know this is an identity matrix of order 2. This is the simplified form. Now it is given an equation of the form. X plus Y is equal to matrix 7025 and X minus Y is equal to matrix 3003. 
Now we will take this one as the equation number 1 and equation number 2. We are asked to find out x and y. Here you just to observe to solve this one. This is plus y and this is negative y. So if you add these two matrices, 1 plus 2 gives x plus x to x, y plus negative y is 0. I mean we have to add the corresponding elements of the matrix. 7 plus 3 it is 10, 0 plus 0 is 0, 2 plus 0 is 2 and 5 plus 3 is 8. This is 2x. So, what is x? x is equal to half of that. Each element must be divided by 2. 10 by 2, 5, 0 by 2, 0, 2 by 2, 1, 8 by 2, 4. So, we got the matrix x as this. Now, suppose you subtract this one. Either you can substitute this value x in the equation number 1 or 2 and find out y by subtracting, or you can add these two matrix and addition we did already. You can subtract 1 minus 2 we can do so that you will be getting directly y. I prefer this method equation number 1 minus 2. 1 minus 2 gives x minus x 0 negative y minus negative 0 2y. 2y is equal to matrix. Corresponding elements we have to subtract 7 minus 3. This is equal to 4. 0 minus 0. 0. 2 minus 0. 2. 5 minus 3. 2. This is 2y. So, y is equal to, uh, 2y is this. So, each element should be divided by 2. So, that y is equal to 4 by 2, which is 2, 0 by 2, 0, 2 by 2, 1, again 2 by 2, 1. So, we got x and y. And if you want, you can uh, check it by putting the value of x and y, whether x plus y is 7, 0, 2, It's y. given a matrix equation. We are asked to find out the values of the variables x, z, y, t. Here we have to apply uh, the first one you see, LHS equation 2x plus 2z, 2y, 2t. This is the first matrix. Plus, second one it is 3 minus 3, 0, 6. It's equal to matrix 3 into 3, 9. 3, 5, 15, 3, 4, 12, 3, 6, 18. Now we have to add two corresponding elements. If you add and equate with the corresponding elements, 2x plus 3, first we are getting 2x plus 3 is equal to 9. Implies 2x is equal to 9 minus 3, which is equal to 6. This implies x equal to 6 by 2 x equal to 3. Similarly, now we will take this one. 2 z plus negative 3 is equal to second element, this 15, implies 2 z is equal to 15 plus 3, which is equal to 18. So this implies z is equal to 18 by 2, which is equal to 9. Now consider the third one. Second row, first element. 2y plus 0 is equal to 12. This implies 2y is equal to plus 0, it is 2y, it is 12. So this implies y is equal to 12 divided by 2, which is equal to 6. Now third one. 2t plus 6 is equal to 18. This implies 2t is equal to 18 minus 6, which is equal to 12. This implies t is equal to 12 by 2, which is equal to 6. Thus, we get x equal to 3, y, z is equal to 9, y is equal to 6. T equal to 6. In the next class, we will discuss the product of two matrices.